Hey, good morning, everyone. Say good morning, Ripley. Don't worry, she did not sleep in the bed with us last night. I just brought her into bed because she started getting a little fussy. She's still sleeping in her bassinet that's in our room. It's not right next to our bed. It's like across the room. But it's around 10 a.m. now. And we've actually been up already. Um, so she was up at 8 and I fed her. And then we went back to sleep for a little bit. But it seems like she wants to wake up now. So we will go ahead and get our day started. Um, I'm just going to feed her in bed real quick. And then probably go grab some coffee. Alright. Alright, all right, let's go eat. So this is um, my third week home with her from maternity leave it's a friday so she's actually going to be three weeks come up um come this coming monday and then after that i'll only have one more week so next week is my last week on maternity leave and then will will start his paternity leave but i'm still going to be working from home so i'll still be around but yeah i just wanted to start this vlog for today just to show you guys like how we spend our day here with Kat, uh, with um, Ripley. Um, and then Cassian is in daycare for today. So it'll just be me and Ripley for most of the day. And honestly, these past three weeks have been kind of like deja vu-ish because they've been just like, kind of like repeating themselves. We do like the same thing every day. So we get up and eat and then she pretty much just feeds and goes to sleep whenever she needs. We don't have any kind of schedule yet. I think that's fine because she's still so young and figuring everything out. Mm. Last night, she went to bed around 10. So that's when I, 10.30. So that's when I try to go to bed too. Like whenever she goes to bed, I'll try to go to bed. Um, and then she woke up at 1.30. And then again at 4.00. And then I think at 6 and then at 8. Um, so yeah, it's quite a few times. And then each time I get up with her, we stay up for about 45 minutes to an hour to like change her and then for her to feed. Because it takes a while for her to get full like on the boobs. But it's not been that bad because I try to grab some naps during the day too. Man, this is the life. Full from eating now, back to bed. And then let me go make myself some iced coffee as well. Um, so Cassian's been having like a upper respiratory infection for the last week or so. Um, and the night before he slept really crappily, so that means we did too. But he's been getting better. Ooh, and little girl's very grunty. It's okay, it's okay. She like does this when she has to poop. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. But yeah, we saw the doctor for Cassian yesterday and he's on antibiotics, so he should be getting better soon. And then let's go. Well, let's go downstairs. Alright, we're downstairs, but I think baby girl is still hungry because she was a little unhappy in her swing, so I made her some formula. Cause my milk supply it's supposed to be like in fully by now, but it's not great. Like every time I pump, the most I get out of both combined is just four ounces. So that's like not even enough for her to eat. Well, she, every time she eats, she eats about three to four ounces. But then she eats every two hours and I don't think my milk replenishes that fast. So I've been supplementing with this um, formula. So yeah, so she's been doing a mixture of breastfeeding and bottle feeding formula and breast milk. Um, and at night when I get up with her, I feed her on one breast and then I pump the other one and then feed what's 
in the bottle to her after she's done feeding on the breast i feel like that keep that um speeds up the process a little bit because breastfeeding is slower than bottle feeding so when she's done breastfeeding she'll do the bottle feeding and then that also kind of like gets her used to both types of feeding which i feel like is going to come in handy in the future and even now it does too because now like my mom or her grandparents can feed her a bottle when needed but i can definitely tell she likes breast milk a lot better than um and this formula which i don't blame her because it smells terrible it's the infamil sensitive formula i think we got a bunch of cans of those like as samples in the mail so i'm just gonna use those for now she seems to have no problem with it other than she doesn't love the taste <laughs> but she still drinks it and then it doesn't give her any stomach issues but this week Beginning of this week, we went to her two-week checkup, and everything is great, and she did uh, a weigh-in, and she was, on Monday, so like five days ago, she was weighing in at seven pounds, five ounces. So that's up seven ounces from her birth weight, because when she was born, she was six ounce, seven pounds, Oh no, that's like a pound from her birth weight. When she was born, she was 6 pounds, 4 ounces. And now she is at least 7 pounds, 5 ounces. I'm thinking she's probably closer to maybe 8 pounds already. Because she grew like a whole pound in a week last week. So everything is good. Um, she eats like a champ, always hungry. And she sleeps well. Um, she's kind of like Cassian where she doesn't really cry cry. She'll let you know when she needs something like grunt or make noises but she doesn't like cry and it's not colicky at all which we are so so lucky that both of our babies um are fairly content like just as long as their needs are being met so it has not been too hard but you're so cute but it seems like she doesn't want the rest of this so i'm gonna put her in a swing and then see if i can finally make my iced coffee for my iced coffee i just like anything that's um a dark roast Take this part out because my coffee cup that i'm using is really big I'm going to be adding a lot of ice and milk in there. And this is the, well not milk, so I'm going to be adding a lot of this sweet cream in there. This is my favorite coffee um, creamer. It's the Italian sweet cream flavor. in here since it's hot coffee so let me add the creamer I just kind of eyeball it I know it's kind of a lot but I like it and that's it and it's super good so easy and so good and then I'm just gonna go to the living room and watch TV for a while um, I'm in my living room now. Look at this hot mess. I'll probably do a little bit of cleaning in a little bit, but right now I'm just going to watch TV for maybe an hour. Um, Ripley is over there in the swing. And um, she's getting a little fussy, so I might just bring her and watch TV with me. Oh yeah, she's not happy. Let's go get her. This is her happy place. <laughs> she's already feeling so much bigger look at her she's a little chunk and the first week when we brought her home she like pretty much would only wake up when she's feeding or when we're changing her and then she would go back to sleep 
But now she has like some wake windows where she'll be awake for like 30 minutes, an hour-ish before she goes back to bed. It's so cute to see her looking around, taking everything in. <laughs> she has a little bit of dry skin going on, but the doctor said it's very, very normal. We don't really need to do anything about it. But yeah, that's pretty much what we do. Just sit on the couch, watch TV, <laughs> and do some chores around the house. But I'm enjoying every second of it because I only got one week of it left. These past three weeks have gone by so fast. But also, I'm kind of looking forward to when Will goes on paternity leave. Because right now, since I'm on maternity leave, I take all the night shifts of feeding and changing for her. But then when he's on paternity leave, which he gets six weeks, which is pretty good, he'll take over the nighttime duty so I can sleep through the night. That'll be wonderful. And then once we are both at work, we'll just divide it up somehow. Haven't figured that out yet. Hopefully by then my milk is supplies better so I can pump and have some in the fridge so Will can feed it to her. But doesn't look like it right now, but... I'll try to drink more water and do my lactation supplements, so see if that'll make a difference. Little baby girl. <laughs> Push your hair a little bit. But she's definitely Will's twin, I feel like. She does not look like me at all. But she's the cutest little girl ever. You wanna come and then lay on mama? This is kind of how we do tummy time right now, just on my our chest. Um, and then she'll lift her head up a little bit already. She's so strong. Look at her. Our baby girl is down for a nap. Um, so I'm just gonna chill out here. So basically I've been watching YouTube this whole time. I've been on break. And for those that don't know, I am Chinese. I came to America from China when I was about 10 years old. So I still love all my Chinese drama shows. So that's what I've been binging on YouTube. And this one I'm watching now is about like... This lady, her mom died under suspicious circumstances and then she got like a clue that it might be someone from this guy's family so she marries into his family, marries him and then she's trying to find who might have killed her mother and then he has three other wives so it's kind of like battle of the wives kind of thing there's a lot of Chinese shows like that so it's like a period piece where the guys used to have multiple wives I'm probably doing a bad job explaining the show but I started like two days ago. I'm already on episode 23. Yeah, so I have a lot of free time on my hands. That's just how it goes when I'm on maternity leave because that's what happened last time too. I binged True Blood last time when I had um, Cassian like a year and a half ago. I binged True Blood in like two or three weeks and that is a long show. I forgot how many seasons it had but like four, five, six, seven, eight seasons. I don't know but um, when I feed Ripley in the middle of the night, I normally come down here and feed her so I can watch my show as well. I'll do a separate video on like an entire night with a newborn. This one I'm just gonna do like what we do during the daytime. But yeah, if you like Chinese shows and then you want any recommendations or you want to talk about it, please let me know because I really don't know any other person that watches these. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm gonna enjoy my iced coffee and then watch this couple of episodes um ripley normally sleeps for like an hour and a half two hours before she wakes up so yeah, i'm just gonna enjoy enjoy some me time all right i'll catch up in a little bit i ordered some doordash delivery for lunch and then it's just it just got here so i'm excited So I 
I got Will and I both a bubble tea. If you don't know what this is, it's delicious. It's like milk tea and it has like these tapioca balls in there. I got the taro flavor. Will got a matcha smoothie. And then I got a sushi bowl. Oh my gosh, look at their to-go to-go container. It's like a plastic thing that I feel like you can reuse for groceries and stuff. I mean, it's tiny, but it's really nice. Ah, so excited. OMG, look at, look at that. I got um it with salmon and spicy tuna. So I'm really excited to have that because, you know, I just gave birth and then during pregnancy, I I ate sushi like twice, I think. Some people say don't eat it at all, but I ate it twice. But that's a lot less than I wanted to, so I'm excited to be able to eat sushi whenever I want again. Now let's go get Will his drink. <laughs> wow, nice <work. gasps> Thanks, baby. <laughs> Bye. So good. Mm. Let's try this. A chunk of salmon, some salad. Mm. That was so good. I'm gonna go eat and watch TV and then I'll be back baby girl just went down for a nap again I think I'm gonna clean this living room real quick and then if I have time I might take a little nap myself as well it's like 3 in the afternoon so don't have that much time left before I have to go pick up Cassie in but I figured I'd at least do one semi-productive thing today <laughs> This is as good a day as any To start the rebuilding of life The roads that lay open are many When the old one's gone under the knife And I can feel the sun on my skin motivated let's go do the dishes to see the horizon and the far excuses were two for a penny but they've all gone out the window of this car and when I feel the wind on my done being productive for the day back to tv watching i think i'm gonna try to catch a nap but it seems like ripley knows when i'm trying to nap because i usually don't sleep for more than 30 minutes before she wakes up but we'll see how it goes someone just woke up hello <laughs> so i did not get a nap i tried but i couldn't fall asleep i think the boba tea i had had too much sugar in it so i couldn't fall asleep Baby girl had a great nap, and then let me go ahead and change her. She has all these bows, but I've never put one on her because they've been too big. Let's see 
if one would fit now. to eat again. <laughs> Little girl, let's go eat. We found a bow that fits. <laughs> Look how cute she is. All right, so I think I'm gonna do some tummy time with her. The doctor said to start even at this age, so let's see if she'll let me do it. Work on that neck muscle. All right, maybe the bow is not the best. So yeah, like the doctor said to start now, but I feel like she's really struggling, but that's how they build up their strength. Hi, baby girl. Good job. You wanna try to lift up your neck? There you go. So good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. They say like 30 minutes a day, but I'm just going to keep her here for like a minute or so. Oh, there you go. That's good. Okay. Okay. That's good enough. All right, guys. I think I'm going to end the vlog here. It's about five. So I'm going to be picking up Cassian. Going to pick up Cassian at daycare in a few. So I don't think I'll have time to vlog once I get back. But thank you guys so much for hanging out today. I know it's not the most exciting, but yeah. Hope you enjoy spending your day with us or spending our day. Wait, what? I don't know. But thanks for watching this video. Um, please subscribe if you're new and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And we'll see you guys on our next video. Bye. Bye. Say bye. So strong. So strong. Goodbye, everyone. See you next time.